I'm delighted now to have James Shannon, um, captain of the Knights, Estonians as well. James, I want to get your perspective on the cup final. You've obviously played in a couple now, but probably one stands out in particular, 2012, when uh, I'm not going to say you single-handedly won the cup, but you certainly played one of the best innings I've ever seen. Your 99 not out. What, I mean, what do you remember of that day? Thanks very much, Holmes. It's, it's nice to be on the show. Um, I think that the 2012 game it was a, it was a fantastic day. Firstly, I think that um, as a cricketer, as an NCU cricketer, I think it's the sort of the pinnacle day of the season. And um, and of course, then to come out on the winning side was always lo- was lovely. So I mean, to, to contribute in any in any way um, was great. But um, just a, a lovely day, great atmosphere, and it it really was uh, it was a fantastic fantastic outing for us. Well, I mean, obviously talking about yourself at the minute, uh, 2017 has uh, been a magnificent season to date for you. You're in the form of your life. You know, what, what, what's it all about? What do you put it down to? I think it's um, maybe just getting back to really enjoying the game again, um, trying to keep things really simple. Um, I've sort of come across, you know, Simon this year from the Knights, and he's brought a, a lot of um, experience and, and, and sort of a cool, calm outlook on the game. So... I think I sort of, and sort of tapped into some other other experienced players as well. So it's been, um, it's obviously been great to score runs and, and do well personally. But I, I have to give a lot of thanks to a lot of other people who have been helping me behind the scenes. Obviously, it's a it's a big NCU day. You are the captain of the NCU night. So if we maybe take your Estonians hat yeah. off for a moment and and look at the guys who are in the night squad mm-hmm. with you. I mean, who who do you see as, as key players on the day? I think firstly that from CI, obviously with Jacob Mulder. Um, Fantastic leg spin bowler. Obviously, he's been in the Irish setup now for the last year or so and done very well. Um, so he's a key performer for CI in my eyes. If we can sort of keep his ten overs quiet, um, then hopefully we'll do well. Um, also, John Matchett and Chris Doherty, two good players at the top of the order, um, and they've done well this year. Um, John Matchett got his first cap um, in the first class game against Leinster and didn't look out of place at all. He, he brought a good attitude and good techniques, so I would like to think that he would progress to play more games for us in the future. Um, and then from ourselves, Nathan Smith's been excellent. Um, Nikolai Smith's been good with the bat as well. So I think I think from a neutral's perspective, uh, I think it'll be a good game. I would um, be too close to call, I would imagine, at the moment. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, too, James, it, it, it is a new era for Irish cricket that we've kind of entered into. We now have test status. Um, so so what does it mean to a player like you and, and, and you know, if you like your future, your future pathway? Where, where do you see things going? Because I know you're an ambitious guy. I know you'd love to be back in that Irish side. So what, what does this hold for you? I think first, it's, it's obviously very exciting. Hats off to everyone who's, who's made it possible over the years. Um, I think, I mean, obviously we have to wait and see what schedules and, and what becomes really of it in, in terms of um, fixtures and, and things like that. But I think as any young cricketer now, it's, it's really the, the opportunities will be there. And you've got, um, you know, we will ha- hopefully have the facilities and the, and the means to really progress young, young guys through into that level. So, um, yeah, really exciting. And um, hopefully it won't be too far away until we got our first test. And obviously one of the things for you this year in terms of the development too is we've now got the the Irish Wolves side. Mm. Uh, you're playing, you know, you're going through a phase of three three-day games at the minute. Indeed, one of them is, you know, finishing off against MCC just the day before the cup final. So what's it been like to play with the Wolves? I think that it was it was something that was really needed um, to try and bridge that gap between the interprovincial level and international. Um, there were some good fixtures at the start of the year in Bristol, um, which I know the guys really enjoyed. And then obviously having the two games against Bangladesh and New Zealand. And then obviously the three-day cricket, that's I suppose where a lot of young guys learn how to actually play cricket properly. Um, and having it back-to-back I think is a good test of sort of mental strength and fitness and all that type of thing. So no, I think everyone's really enjoyed it. There's been some very good performances by a lot of young players, which is nice to see. So. Um, hopefully they can keep that going. How you say the mental, the mental strength, the fitness? Mm. How is the body holding up? I know the, 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 there's a lot more sort of pressure put on you now in mm. terms. I don't mean in terms of that kind of pressure, but the pressure on your body, the pressure on the number of matches, the days cricket you're playing. Uh, how are you finding that? And I mean, what are you doing to combat those various things? Uh, well, I think I think first and foremost you have to be able to um, put the feet up after you do get whenever you do get a day off. Um, the fixtures come thick and fast during the season. Um, and I suppose doing a lot of work pre-season has helped. Um, personally, I've had a few issues with my back, but 
um, it's not enough to sort of keep me off the field. I'm hungry to, to stay on, so no, it's been fine. That's great to hear, and I know, and I know Cumber's a personal favourite of yours. You always seem to perform well down there. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't really think of a, of a better ground to to, um, to hold the cup final. It's um, fantastic people. They always put on a great day, and um, yeah, it's fantastic work at the bat on, so I'm looking forward to it. James, thanks again. Uh, for me, I hope you get one more run more this time. Thank you very much, Stuart. Cheers.